I definitely don't intend on starting my videos like this very often but I thought that this would be a good opportunity to do a get ready with me because I'm down at Finsbury Park at the moment but actually I'm heading to Brighton today to go to the Great Escape Festival with Dr Martin so that's really exciting and I thought it'd be a good chance to show you how I get ready and um, people ask for my makeup routine sometimes. I have quite a simple skincare routine in the morning so I just use the CBD body shop moisturizer and I just put a little bit of that where I get dry so that just tends to be around my nose a little bit on my chin as well you really don't need much of this so all I do is just rub that in and it smells so nice I've got so many people onto this moisturizer now because everybody who's borrowed it from me just really loves it so I'll just give that a second and just pat that in like I said I don't really use that much because I actually um put on some SPF as well and that's really hydrating too. Also just for a little bit of moisture around my eyes as well today because I want my makeup to sit nice, I'll just use some of the Soothing Simple Eye Balm. Don't really need to use that much of it. I use it mostly on a night to be honest, but just a little bit under there. So yeah, I just thought that this video would be good to um, show you how I do my makeup really because I do get questions and obviously I want to look quite nice today because I'm going to Brighton so I thought I'd just do quite a chatty get ready with me so I can tell you about what I'm doing and also show you my techniques as well and the last step of my morning skincare routine is just the Skin Defence SPF which is Factor 50 from Body Shop so I just get some of that on there and put that absolutely everywhere <laughs> hopefully it's sunny today if I'm down by the seaside, you should hope that it's sunny. So that I'm putting this factor 50 to good use. <laughs> so now I'm going to do my makeup for you and show you how I get ready. Like I said, I'm going to Brighton, so this makeup I want to look really nice, but most of it's just going to be my everyday normal routine. So I'll show you how I do that and talk you through everything. I'm right next to Finsbury Park Station at the moment, so there may be some train noises, so I apologise for that. But um, yeah, I'll just show you how I do everything got my coffee here as well so that's a really important part of my morning routine as you can see I do shave off half of my eyebrows so what I do is I get just a really cheap concealer this is a collection concealer and I just put it over the ends where it's growing back where the hair's growing back because then you just can't see as much the sort of stubble of the hair so yeah I just pat that in makes it a bit lighter also it highlights around your brow bone too so it's just a nice added touch of that I probably even put a little bit too much on there but usually I just dab it in with my finger but just to make sure it's smooth I'll use a brush as well I'm not sure how long this video is going to be by the way <laughs> I've got a bit of a croaky voice since I've only just woken up and I'm here on my own so I've got nobody to talk to which is a bit sad but there's actually four beds in my bedroom which is quite funny i um i was actually given a room on the top floor i'm just going in with the urban decay naked foundation i used to use this every day but now i just use it for special occasions because i have a different foundation which i use every day which i'll show you in a second so i don't use very much at all to be honest yeah so i got to the I got to the check-in reception last night quite late. I think it was about 11 o'clock because my train was cancelled, which is great. So yeah, I turned up quite late and I was given a room on the top floor. So I had all my belongings and everything and I said to the guy, oh God, <laughs> I hate lifts. <laughs> so, um, and I'd have to carry all my things up the stairs. There was only like three flights of stairs. So I did say to him, you know, if, it, if I have to, I can do it and <clears throat> turns out that there was nobody in this family room which is on the ground floor so i got given a family room instead um got four beds <laughs> got a bed just to put my things on my suitcase shoes and everything i've actually got a bath as well so because i turned up so late last night i couldn't bother to get in the bath last night but i'm definitely getting either tonight or tomorrow morning i think so like I said, yeah, I don't wear this foundation as much anymore because I find it's quite dry, but my other foundation is um, quite a glowy foundation and it's great for every day, but I think halfway through the day I do get my natural oils seeping through 
and it can just look quite shiny and I think I'm gonna be filmed a little bit at this festival so I want to make sure that my base is perfect and I'm not too shiny I don't want to look sweaty <laughs> So I've got the first part on, which is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. Um, with this quite dense brush as well, you see that it's flat and dense, which is how I used to do my makeup, but to me now that just seems quite flat. So my everyday makeup that I usually wear is the NYX Born to Glow. It's a lot cheaper, so I think it's £10, so it's good just for every day, especially when I'm going to work. So I'm just going to take the smallest, tiniest bit and my fluffy brush. I think this is just a blush brush or a powder brush, and I just dab it on the areas where I'm going to get dry using this Stay Naked foundation and hopefully this should just hybrid the two of them and make it not too oily so I'm not shiny but also just add a little bit of extra shine in the places that I need it to just make me look a little bit more three-dimensional so those areas are just around my nose on my forehead and also on my chin as well only a, a tiny bit Hopefully it should make make the difference. And yeah, I like I like applying this one with a fluffier brush because it just makes the coverage a lot lighter. I don't really need a lot of coverage. I just get redness. So it's nice to just put a really small layer on. And hopefully you can see that it's added a little bit of shine. <laughs> I'm in natural light at the moment, but it's a nice bright day. It's also nice to go around your face with this brush just to make sure everything's blended nicely and that you've got no brush marks from the from the other brush that I used. And I think that's looking really nice now, so I'm gonna move on to my under eyes next, which is another affordable product actually. What I use under my under eyes is the Revolution Conceal and Define. I used to use the concealer that I showed you before, the collection concealer, because it's nice and cheap, but it is quite drying and I think that this one's just a lot creamier. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a dupe for the shape tape. <laughs> but yeah, I just use my finger for this one. I always find that this eye always ends up with a lot more coverage than the other eye. I don't know what I do wrong. <laughs> I seem to put the same amount on, but I don't know. Again, just use my finger. And then I'll go over it with my brush after the collection one because it's so dry it seemed to always dry before I had time to actually work it in see don't you just feel that this side just blends a lot nicer I don't really understand what's going on there <laughs> but yeah nice bit of coverage on my under eyes this is a really nice concealer actually I think it's £4.95 you can get um, in Boots or on Beauty Bay if you're doing an order from there. I think that's where mine's from. Yep, so I've got some nice coverage on my under eyes and again I'm just going to take that same brush and just go around the edges. I want it to all be blended in nicely. And if I've got any excess on my finger, I like to just put it in the crevices of my nose because that is my driest area. And this is a really nice creamy product, so just make sure that everything's blended nicely again. That's pretty much the majority of my routine is just blending everything. <laughs> Usually at this point, I'll just add a little bit of the XX Revolution gloss because my lips start to get a bit dry. This isn't really part of the routine, but it's a really nice gloss. And it does look nice just on its own anyways, but I just like I just hate the feeling of dry lips, so I always put that on there. A little sip of coffee. Next up is a bougie product, it's the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. It's called the uh, Match Match Sticks, it's called. I actually lost the lid, so I had to put my Saint Spray lid on there, but and I've just reminded myself that I think I forgot my setting spray as well, so that's a little bit scary, but nothing that we can do there. So I just uh, apply this directly onto my face. It's the shade Amber, so it's good for people with pale skin. It's a really good contour shade for those people. 
and this brush is just from Primark so nice and cheap and I just go over it quite a while until it looks like nice and blended so like I said I'm going to the Great Escape Festival today with Dot Martins which is in Brighton I'm getting the train down to Brighton in a couple of hours with the team at Dot Martins I've been working with them a little bit lately as well on some TikTok videos and yeah I can't believe that they asked me to come here as well there's going to be people at the festival and I'm basically there as part of the team, someone who's a fan, a fan of Dot Martins, which obviously I am, you know that. And I'm just going to be asking the festival goers um, a few questions, Dr. Martins trivia. And if they get a few of them right, then they'll win, win a free pair. So that's OK. They're not too hard questions either. So hopefully we get to get make a few people winners because that's going to be a nice feeling to do that. And I'm just going to be wandering around Brighton, seeing some of the sights. I'll go to the beach because, I've, like I said, I've never been and I'm really excited. My boyfriend and I really wanted to go to Brighton, so I'm quite sad that he's not here. But I'd be doing work anyway most of the day, so I won't even get to see him. doing the same on the other side like I said it's quite a long process this one I don't know if this is like a reliable technique but I always sort of pull my face up a little bit it just helps you see where you're supposed to be doing it by the way I don't know whether I have to put a disclaimer in here that I am definitely not professional when it comes to makeup at all but I do get asked to show people so that's what I'm doing <laughs> what better time to do that than when you're alone in a travel lodge and then this is just my nose contour by the way so I don't know I don't know why I started doing this I don't really know what difference it makes but I can actually tell when I haven't done it now so I just implement that into my routine now places I do the contour is just where you want to kind of look like a shadow so if you put the shadow closer in on your nose it just makes your nose look smaller and narrower I don't know I don't know <laughs> it's one of those things I watch a lot of YouTube a lot of YouTube makeup videos and everybody does it so it sort of influences you to do it yourself doesn't it and again like I said this is a really long process probably cut a little bit of it out of the video <laughs> the next step that i use in my routine is probably one of my favorite products it's the illa masca cream blush they do end up looking a bit gross once you use them a few times but this product is just amazing i got one of them in the limited edition amy winehouse box there was a pink one in there and as soon as i used that for the first time i wanted to get another color in it and this is the shade rude and it to be honest, a lot of people are intimidated by cream products and this one does go on quite pigmented so I don't suggest going in with quite a lot but you can definitely build it so it just leaves a nice a nice wash and I just do my I do my blush just at the top of my face here. I've got a round face so I don't want to be emphasising that by putting blush onto my cheekbones. And again, just blending, making sure there's no harsh lines, nothing like that. I feel like if you just keep going over with the same brushes, everything just looks meshed together so nicely. Yeah, so I just dab first and then just rub it in. Circular motions, nice light hand, I'm not really pressing down very hard. And it's just so beautiful it's so beautiful i got this one from for christmas from my boyfriend yeah i think that's gorgeous i love that and then again i'll just blend on this side too i've got two options of what to wear because i had a plan of what i wanted to wear 
I also put a little bit of blush across my nose as well, ever so slightly. Just gives you a bit of colour, makes you look quite cute. So, yeah, that's looking even. Yeah, I had two choices of outfit. One that I really wanted to wear with a new green jacket that I have, but stupidly, I don't know what made me do this, but I made a TikTok featuring the outfit that I actually was going to wear this weekend. And now I need to do a what I wore to the Great Escape Festival TikTok. And I don't want to post the same outfit again. <laughs> because that's not exciting for people, is it? To see the same thing. So at this point I would use a setting spray, but that's fine. I can move on from that. So next I would, after I've sprayed my face, I would move on to highlight. So I do use the Jeffree Star palette. I don't support Jeffree Star, but... Um, I bought it <laughs> so i'm gonna use it and i usually mostly just use the ice cold shade so i do like three dabs three or four dabs and then again real light hand just really lightly highlight the areas on my face which would catch the most sunlight it's a really nice color and there is some good colors in this palette i like the green tinted one as well because i like green makeup so if I do a green eyeshadow look, I do use the green highlight as well. It's gorgeous. But yeah, I don't I don't agree with supporting Jeffree Star as a, as a person or as a brand anymore. So I'm going to use the product because I bought it, but just use a different highlighter if, if you are following this, this technique, this routine, which you can if you want to. <laughs> it works for me. But I know that the same thing doesn't work for everybody. Sorry if you can hear the trains, by the way. I mean, I'm not sorry because I'm right next to a train station. <laughs> and then I just use my nose a little bit as well. Yeah, a bit on my chin. Not much, you know. I think if you have a nice glowy, glowy face anyway, glowy foundation, then you have a natural shine on your face anyway now is the bane of my makeup routine which is my brows i hate doing my brows so i'll do one brow maybe <laughs> might do half a brow and then i'll skip on to the next part so i use this really cheap collection tinted brow gel on the tiny bit of eyebrows that i do have so just put it here don't know why i do this i think it just sticks them up a bit <laughs> So they're not going everywhere. I shaved off the tips of my brows in case anyone's wondering because they used to grow downwards. I had I had more tail of my brow than I had actual front part. So it used to just grow real down, like the hairs still grow there. So I have to try not to pluck them because obviously I might want them to grow back one day, but not at the moment, I just like to decide where the tail off myself. I'll give that a second to dry. That's really cheap. It's about two pounds. I'm not I'm not buying an expensive brow gel when I don't even have brows. <laughs> I'm using the zoomed inside of my mirror now, so I'm just gonna move a little bit closer to the screen. Hopefully you can still see I'm filming this on my phone. <clears throat> Somebody please start GoFundMe to get me a camera but <laughs> next I use another product from the Illamasqua and Amy Winehouse limited edition collection which is the brow cake uh yeah brow cake it's called it's in the shade Camden so I think this is a limited edition shade for the Amy Winehouse box which is so sad you can see I've panned it but I love it I use it every day on this flat small brush and I just I just do the line in my eyebrows so this is definitely comes with practice i do this every day i have to do this because i only have half an eyebrow on each side and i just i just learn what kind of shape i like hopefully it goes right today because i want it to be perfect i don't know whether i'm going to keep all this footage in or whether i'm going to edit edit some of it out to make it a shorter video don't know i guess the people who have been asking for this kind of video will sit through the whole thing hopefully i'm not too boring <laughs> but yeah it's so strange being in a hotel on your own i've done it before if i've gone to a gig or a festival 
with other people and then I've had a separate hotel room for myself but still feels still feels strange and then for this front part I like it to be a bit paler I like it to sort of fade in to the brow a little bit more so it's not too much of a block so I don't really pay too much attention to that part yet I just make sure that the end's quite defined sorry I'm so close but I'm using the zoomed in part of my mirror and <laughs> it's making me dizzy if I don't get really close to it brow gel here okay so I believe that this is the basic shape that I'll go for let me just skip back to the normal side of my mirror again yeah this is what I like to go for so I think I'm going to stick to this side of the mirror actually so that I'm not passing out from dizziness <laughs> does anybody else get that when you use the zoomed in side of the mirror makes my eyes go funny yeah so I wouldn't say that this is a natural brow by any stretch of the imagination but I do like it to have sort of strokes at the front and then come to a nice solid tip at the end I'll probably just do this one brow and then I'll do the next one off camera because that's the frustrating part I then use the NYX brow pencil which is in the shade Espresso, it's a bit darker and all it does, if you make sure it's nice and sharpened, you can just go over the end where you've given your shape, literally just the end and the last third around the arch and then it just darkens the whole thing, it just makes it more defined and again I just I just use sort of brush strokes with this as well. I don't want anything to look too harsh. I used to do my eyebrows so harshly when I was younger and I feel like when I look back now, I'm like, what was I thinking? <laughs> so, yeah. It doesn't really matter how neat this is right now because I do carve everything out and clean it up. And then when I come to the front, just do the little brush strokes. And what's good about this is that it's got a brush on the other end as well. So brush the front just the front and it fades it out nicely and then I can dab it with my finger as well again I'll just go in with the, the pencil god this is so boring isn't it you can skip this part if you want <laughs> I don't know if anybody wants to see how I do my brows this is the one and only time I'm ever doing my brows on camera by the way ever do a makeup tutorial again that's it you're not getting brows my brows are already going to be on okay i'm fairly happy with that i'm fairly happy i'll probably do a little bit more finessing but i can't sit here all day <laughs> got a train to catch so i'm gonna do my next eye eyebrow and then i'll come back so I think a really important thing when doing your eyebrows is just to acknowledge the fact that they're not even, they're never going to be even. Please don't waste all of your day trying to make your eyebrows even. Just make sure that you've got them both in a place where you're happy with that. And next, I just carve them out. So if there is any little differences in the shape of the tails or anything, I use that again, that collection, cheap concealer and another brush that's exactly the same, nice and flat. And then I just do underneath. Probably can't talk or breathe for this part. This just neatens the whole thing up. Especially the ends. And then if there is any parts where it's thicker in one area on one brow than the other, then you can thin it out with this. You've got to have a bit of a steady hand for this part. It's an optional part though. I just like to tidy everything up. Yeah. 
you can go back in with your other products as well if you've if you've snipped a bit of your eyebrow off that you want to come back then you can grab the brush with no with no additional product on it and just go back over again and there's the brows i don't want to spend any more time on that so this is the part that everybody's probably going to skip to which is my eyeshadow and i use the urban decay priming potion just underneath it's really important to use a primer when you use eyeshadow if you're wondering why your eyeshadow is not working why it looks rubbish it's be probably because you're not using the right primer or because you're not using a primer at all just in my opinion anyway i can definitely tell when i've forgotten to put primer on some people use found uh not foundation sorry some people use concealer on it but i've heard that that's not as good because it can be oily and your eyelids are apparently oily already or some people's are so you don't want your eyeshadow to go slipping around or creasing especially with shimmers i use mostly i'm enjoying actually using a mostly matte look rather than using shimmers on my eyes at the moment so i think that's what i'm going to do today i've been using the same technique for the last couple of days as practice for today and i think i've come up with a look that i want to do so I'll just give that a couple of seconds to dry keep staring at my eyebrows and seeing things i don't like about them but i really could be here all day so I have this pack of brushes. I think it's a pack of Spectrum brushes from Beauty Bay. They're really nice and soft, actually. They've got a big fluffy brush. So I'm going to use this fluffy one today. And I'm going to use a little pointed one as well. And also, this one I've already used. It's stained. But I'm going to be using the same colour. So that's fine. And it's the Be Perfect Stay Smelly Antidote Palette. All the colours I absolutely love. But I think mostly I'm just going to mess with the neutrals today because, like I said, I don't know which outfit I'm going to go with yet. So with the fluffy brush, I'm just going to use this shade Dusk and just really lightly. I only hold the end of the brush and I just, I've just washed these so they're really nice and soft. So hopefully it should help my eyeshadow go on nicely. I always find that when you wash your brush brushes or when you've got a new brush the makeup always goes on so much nicer I hope that this isn't taking me ages because A. I don't want to have a super long video and B. obviously I've got somewhere to be so I don't want to run over because I'm talking you through every step I could always speed this part up but it might be nice to show you in real time how long it takes because it's quite, it's it's an easy enough look. I think it's just practice really. You know, when, when everywhere was, I work in retail, so when my shop was closed last year and the year before, we had nothing to do because everywhere was closed. I just watched a lot of videos on YouTube, just learned how to blend practice as well and you know there's a lot of there's a lot out there on youtube what a funny face to do the bottom of your lid <laughs> there's a lot out there on youtube that can teach you really good techniques there's so many makeup artists and just people who love using makeup who have videos so if you do want to learn then you know, I definitely recommend that. And usually I just go in with the same brush, but because I'm gonna do one eye at a time, I'm gonna use a different brush. And this is shade underneath, which is a little bit of a darker brown. And you just make that a little bit more targeted. So right into the crease of your eyeball and you can press in a little bit so you can see where it is. And then just blend outwards and it'll just blend in with the color that you've just put down already. So I tend to do like, it looks like I'm doing wiper motions, but I'm actually doing them really tiny circles. And I'm just moving that around so I'm not in the same place for too long. And I find that these shadows work really well with each other. That's kind of why I brought this palette because it's my trusty palette now. It's got most of the colors in that you need. 
then you can also flick as well which i find is a good technique and then i'll go back in with that fluffy brush with nothing on it and then let's go on the edges and that looks really nice that's a nice blend see and then i think also in this brush collection is a denser flat brush god can i show you that there we go <laughs> and i'm gonna use the shade dove which is really pale sort of bone colored shade and i find these really nice to use in the inner part of your eye where i would traditionally have used a shimmer but i just find i don't know i'm really liking just using matte looks i don't know where it is i don't know if it's because i'm getting older I just find that shimmers can look a little bit dated. And I feel like it's so safe as well, just to put a color in your crease and then a shimmer. It's just, it's just expected. I feel like with a matte, it just looks, looks more intentional. I think I'm just reading too far into it, but yeah, I'm just doing, the shape that I would do for a cut crease, but obviously I'm not using a cut crease. Just really roughly put it on there. I'm using quite a lot just because I really want it to show that I have put eyeshadow there because obviously it's very close to to my actual skin tone. And once that's there, I get the really tiny brush from the collection and this shade Chestnut only need a little couple of dabs and then that just goes really concentrated in this corner here just to deepen it and I'm just dabbing that just dab that on where I want where I want it where I want some depth and also just a little bit more right in the outer bottom as well pull another funny face while you do that I'm not sure whether this is a chatty get ready with me or a tutorial or what. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going back in with that second brush that I used again. Again, just blending it all. But to me, I think this is quite a quick look. I do this for work. I think I'm going to add a lash today just to make it feel a bit more special. <laughs> Just that second shade again, Lola Latte. And just dabbing that on top of the crease there so that it all blends in nicely together. I love this look. A bit, I've done it for the past three days. <laughs> sort of to practice, but also just because I really like it. And if I go in with that first brush, I might just grab this shade, which is buff. Two tiny taps and actually tap it off as well. It's a light colour, but I just want to go around the edges and just blow it out even more. Because I want to obviously look like I'm wearing eyeshadow. I'm not spending all this effort and time putting eyeshadow on if you can't tell that I'm wearing it. And it'll just make everything go nicely and again back in with that shade dove just to emphasize that now this is the fun part <laughs> that sounds so sad to me doesn't it but yeah so this is the part that just makes the look a little bit different and it's the eyeliner well I'm actually going to use an eyeshadow as an eyeliner because I'm going to use a red which is quite exciting so the flat brush that I showed you before. I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Bay Berries pal palette. This is really nice. And this shade up here, Claret. I'm gonna use that on this flat brush. So just get a few taps, tap it off because I don't want any fallout. And then just dab that along my lash line. So I saw a dab and drag is a technique that I use. This brush is nice and flat. So you can get a nice precise line. 
Some people put micellar water on the brush as well before they do this last setting spray, which probably works, but I've never tried it, so I don't want a day like today, which is quite an important day, to be the day that I try out a new technique. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna put that down so that I can sort of just pull up my hairline a little bit, just drag out. So how precise you get just depends to me how big you make the wing because if I have part of the end which doesn't go off to the point, I just make it bigger. There we go. I'm really loving <laughs> the burgundy wing. To be honest, you could even take the eyebrow carving brush it should have a little bit of product still on it. And you can just neaten that off. And there's the wing. I'm gonna go on to do the other eye now off camera and then I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, I've got my eyeshadow liner on now. The next step is to use mascara, another item that came in the limited edition, Illa Masca and Amy Winehouse box. And I'm going to wear lashes as well today, which I'm not going to film me putting on. <laughs> I have really terrible eyelashes, so I don't know if I recommend this mascara or not, to be honest. Because nothing looks good on my lashes. <laughs> so if it was just an everyday, then I would just leave it at mascara and call it a day. Because like I said, I don't have great lashes and I'm not really too bothered. To be honest, I think especially with having the burgundy liner, you can see the black of the lashes, so it does make them look thicker than they usually do. That's the first layer, I'll just add another layer and then I'll come back. Okay, that's the eye look with two layers of mascara. I don't really mind how it looks, so if it does take me a while to get the lashes on, I might just leave it at this because I've only got half an hour before I need to be at the station. So these are the lashes that I use. It's the Isla 3 quarter length and 008. I'm going to put these on and then come back. <laughs> okay, so I'm not experienced or frankly quite good at putting on lashes, but this is the finished look. I've also added the Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the shade Uptight. It's my favourite lip colour and obviously I want to have a tried and true product on the day where I'm going to be wearing it all day. I'll straighten my hair, get dressed and then I'll show you the finished look. This is the worst angle ever and the worst lighting, but this is my outfit. I'm all ready. I'm wearing this vintage blazer from my work and my Brutus Trim Fit shirt with this charity shop bag, charity shop skirt from M&S and obviously my Doc Martens. These are my comfiest Doc Martens and the burgundy looks really nice with the skirt. I've also got a pair of sunglasses because I'm going to be meeting a lot of people today and I'm not a very confident person so this is sort of my alter ego personality and I'm going to have a great day in Brighton now. I'll see you guys again soon.